So a statement has been made. A statement has been made by AFTV with regards to this um, quite shocking story, absolutely shocking story um, involving your man, um, DT. So let's just give this a little read, man. So this morning, we have been made aware of news regarding DT, who was a regular contributor on AFTV until July 2021 when obviously the whole thing with his um, mental thing happened. We are utterly appalled and disgusted by his actions and totally condemn domestic abuse or violence of any kind. So that is confirmation that that guy, I think is um, that, that that was revealed, that guy was DT. So again, I said, let's just be sure, let's just be sure, because I say I have to wait until facts. I'm not, I Twitter is not my barometer for, 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 for facts. This is now a full-on company, full-on media, so this is real. So that, it's all facts. It is DT. DT had made us aware of personal issues in his life. However, we can unequivocally say that the extent of the information made public by the government today is new to us. DT appeared on AFTV on the 1st of January when the severity of his legal case was unbeknownst to us. The recent developments come as a complete shock to all at AFTV. In light of the shocking news, DT will be offered absolutely no place on the channel again. So my thing is, there are a few key, key things. DT made us aware of personal issues in his life, which we all thought was him having mental illness and so forth. However, we can unequivocally say that the extent of the information made by the public today is new to us. So that is them saying that what we found out today is also new for FTV. This appeared on AFTV on the 1st of January when the severity of his legal case was unbeknownst to us. If that is not unbeknownst, it means that they were unaware of the severity of the case. The recent developments come as a complete shock to all at AFTV. So you see, it's very important to make this clear. There are people that um, that statement will not be good enough. Because there are, just, there, there are people that just want... AFTV to fail. The people that hate Robbie's success, hate AFTV's success and want them to fail. Now, I'm very consistent because I said the way AFTV handled the most situation with the, with the Palestine thing, I thought that was wrong. I understood them from a business sense, but you can look at the video. I said that the way that they handled that, I don't think they handled that well. And I felt that they were wrong in how Robbie and AFTV handled that. But when this broke, everybody was like, AFTV knew, they're horrible. How could you keep up a wife beater and so forth? I'm like, what kind of person do you think Robbie is? It's one thing having thing with the more serious situation, which I think was wrong. But I can see where Robbie was, was coming from. Because I can see the whole thing of like, you have sponsors, it's a business thing and so forth. And AFTV is not a, a political institution. It's a private company. So boom, boom, boom. I can understand that, but I suppose that they were wrong. That's totally different from you knowing that a guy kidnapped their ex-girlfriend, assaulted their ex-girlfriend, took pictures of their ex-girlfriend um, without any clothes and so forth. You had that knowledge and he still allowed them on. Oh, that's a whole different level, bro. So as I said in my initial video, I said that I'm sorry, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt because I've met Robbie. Robbie has done some stuff for me for um some um, work that i used to do as a as, as sports and so he's helped me out some stuff and have and i've met him seen him i'm so for met him met his older brother and i'm like because this is where i'm going i'm going into because i've met robbie i've met dt i've met robbie and i've met dt so this is where i'm going into it because i don't meeting robbie i'm like knowing how big this guy is and how this guy revolutionized football fan channels i met him this guy there's no ego. There's no ego. And it's like he is a genuinely nice guy. An extremely, extremely nice person. I've met DT. And remember the first time that I probably came in contact with DT. Because this is when, back in the days of UFF. And we were sort of, you know, getting all the football channels together and everything. I remember when DT came. And remember how the kind of things he was saying to Robbie. Now, it's, it's, you know, I don't know in England, they call it like, this may have been like banter and so forth. But I was like, I just didn't like the way this white guy was talking to this black guy. You know, because it can be fun and joke. I said, 
Nah, I, it, I just felt uncomfortable being around DT, specifically the kind of jokes he was cracking to Robbie. Just the, should a white guy be cracking those kinds of jokes to a black guy? I don't want to say the kind of things they're saying, but I should be cracking those jokes. Boom. And even when I met DT, I was like, boy, no, Robbie is the guy. He is the brainchild of AFTV. And just the way that DT carried himself up, like, I just didn't feel comfortable around him. You know, the way he was saying, always swearing, very loud mouthed, like, it, like just a bit outspoken. I was like, something, it didn't feel right with me when I was just around him. I think for, for people, even people even brought up, I think it was a video long ago on, I think, um, I think the football fan thing that we used, that we used to do, UFF, where um, I made a bet that uh, I think it was a five pound bet that Chelsea would finish above Aston. He said Aston finish above Chelsea. I don't even know what happened then. But yeah, I've always just felt a little bit funny about DT, and I have to be real with you because I try and be as real as possible on this channel because when I read the stuff that happened, I wasn't shocked. The stuff is just wild. Just the story in a vacuum is wild. But when I look look at that, the stuff in a vacuum, I see DT on MTV and being around DT, actually seeing him and actually being around in his vicinity, I was like, it's not shocking. Because <laughs> the guy is wild. And the guy acts wild. You know? Because for me, I, I'm, I'm like outspoken and everything, but for me, I... It's how my mom raised me and so forth. You know, I am... If you meet me in person, I'm extremely not, say, I mean, I'm a shy, nice kind of guy. So I'm not a very loud guy when you see me in person. Now, obviously, I'm loud and crazy and I see all this stuff on camera and so forth. But when you meet me in person, because I just like to conduct myself in a very specific way in public. So in public. So when I just saw how he, he conducts himself in public, I was like, yes, yeah, no, I'm not really, yeah, yeah. That's this just not the guy that I'd want to be around personally speaking personally speaking you know, for, for some people they find it cool but just for me personally i was like eh. so but we come to this um statement here and you have a choice because see, there are people that have an, an, an agenda that's ftv is bad ftv is evil and they'll look at that statement and be like oh no you knew you're just lying how could you not know okay now if you think that this is a lie prove that it's a lie Prove that he knew. Don't show me videos of where Robbie, oh, he's talking about, oh, no, you know, I have a guy who keeps going in and out of, in and out of prison and he says that he's um, clean. Oh, that's not proof that it was about DT. Wait, is there proof that DT ever went to, to prison? In that video where he's talking to um, um, expressions, he said a friend who is in and out of prison. I don't think DT has gone to prison yet. So, how do you know it's about DT and he's not talking about some other friend? You know what? I'm sure that he may have other friends that may not be DT and, and, and so forth. You know, that is actually possible. So you have, so I know people will still look at that and because they have such an axe to grind against AFTV, because maybe it's envy of his success or, or people still feel away of, about how he treated Mo. And again, I believe that with the video I said that what he did with Mo, I thought that was wrong. Because, you know, I just felt that, mm, because, again, I don't want to be this political. I ride with Palestine in that whole Palestine and Israel thing. And I've always, I've always ridden with, 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 with Palestine, always. Because I've looked at the facts and said, no, I'm riding with Palestine over what they're doing, or, over the whole Israel thing, always. But I can understand the political point of view. But I said, Robbie, you shouldn't have done that to more. But that's different. That's separate from, like, this is, this is real. <laughs> You know, this is like this is like bro, like if you if again, I'm not gonna go, go into the details. I've just given you the surface. If you go into the details of what happened with what DT did, it's crazy because now I wanted to wait for facts. Now that AFTV have now said yes, that is DT. They made a public statement like that. So this is proof that what we read that is DT. And now I can now speak of it as proof. Wow. Oh, he's done. He's done. And I do believe that what AFTV have to do now. What you have to do now, you've got to delete all of DT's videos. You have to. In the world that we're living in, in the hashtag Me Too, violence against women. Because you know, you know what I always say? It takes a, a particular coward to beat on a woman. 
you know, I'm one of those guys of like, you know, um, dod degree of difficulty. Go fight a guy stronger than you. I didn't know. Assault somebody who go 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 up against Mike Tyson or against Anderson Silva. You know, <laughs> like go up against those go up against those freaking dudes. Be, see any guy that beats up on a, a a woman, you're a cow. Now, unless you're provoked and a woman is physically provoking you, then all you can do is retaliate. But if you're not provoked physically at all and you're doing that to a woman, bro, you're you're you are you are you're, you're a coward and you can't be called a man. A guy that beats up on a woman unprovoked, not in self defense, you're a coward. You're a, you are a coward. You know. So I mean, he's done. But I think what FTV you have to do, you have to delete all all of his content. All of his content has to be deleted fully, one hundred percent. Like it's, it can't be kept at all, you know, because that that is the only way that, um, um, you can go through. But I'm interested to see how people will view this. And I think, look, for FTV, like, look, they've, you know, the Claude situation, losing troops to Barstool, um, this, there's so many things that they have to deal with. And I think, I think it is so quick. And the reason why I'm in my position is because I viewed Robbie as a trailblazer. You know, and as a black guy as well, seeing a black guy with the success that he's had and so forth, I want to see him succeed. Now, all because I want to see him succeed doesn't mean that I will call him out when I think he's he's gone wrong, which is with the Mo situation, which I said, I, you went wrong with that Mo situation, but overall, of course, I want him to su succeed. You know, because seeing a black guy succeed is inspirational for someone like, like me, and I'm sure it's, it was inspirational for someone like Expressions, Groups, and all of us other black guys in this space, you know? So it is just what it is. I'm just talking real, man. But um, it's crazy, man. It's, um, it's, it's crazy, crazy, crazy world, man. Crazy freaking world, man. Um, Same, man. Like, subscribe, head to the website. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, man. Peace to the app, man.